Hi and welcome to this video. The Fruit and Veggie Trick Buying fresh fruits and vegetables is one of the most expensive aspects of eating well. Sure, it's not a big deal if you only eat one or two servings of fruits and vegetables per day, but when you're trying to eat healthy and include fruits and vegetables in every meal, it's a different story. To make matters worse, you can no longer buy products in cans because they are no longer convenient, after all, there are a lot of hidden things in there that might be good for your budget but terrible for your health. If you're a budget shopper like me, you're well aware that the produce department is where things can get a little hairy, and now you're looking at an increased fruit and vegetable budget. Fortunately, there is a method for this, and it is so ridiculously basic that I am sorry to admit it took me years to figure it out, and even then, it wasn't me who discovered it, it was a food blogger I follow. Rather than buying fruits and vegetables from the produce department, go to the frozen foods section. There are two significant advantages here. Obviously, the cost is the most significant advantage. In most circumstances, shopping in the freezer department is no more expensive than shopping in the produce section, and in some cases, it is even cheaper. The best part is that the work is done for you. I recently tried a recipe that required a large amount of peaches. Not only were the frozen peaches more expensive than the fresh peaches, but they were already chopped for me, which is a significant plus for an anti-cook like myself. The second most significant advantage is that frozen fruits and vegetables last longer than fresh ones. Yes, some may object to the flavor, but I personally don't find it objectionable. And, while I enjoy escaping to the grocery store on occasion, I normally despise grocery shopping and would rather order pizza every night than make the dreaded half-hour trip, which is really more of an hour trip after I haul everything in and find a home for it in the kitchen. At the risk of losing my mother of the year title, I'll admit that I've done this pizza trick many times, and while my wallet and waistline have suffered as a result, it still seems like a better option than reloading my grocery supply. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about my fruits and vegetables going bad as quickly when I buy them from the freezer section, I get to buy plenty for two weeks and then stay as far away from the store as humanly feasible. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share this video.